I'm going to walk you through a design of a 2 input NAND gate. Okay, so here's my uh, IC station schematic editor. Let's go to File, New, Schematic. We'll create a BU NAND. Alright, so I have a new schematic window. Let's go to ADK IC library. Let's bring in my VDD. Let's bring in my ground. I'll bring in my PMOS. PMOS. Move this around. Let's bring in my two NMOS that needs to go in series. Alright, so I have all my PMOS, NMOS, VDD, and ground. So let's start wiring these up. Bring in an input. Let's bring in another input. So, let's bring in an output. Okay. All right. So we have the basic wiring all done. Now, the next thing we need to do is to size the transistors correctly and if you look at my handout the size for the PMOS uh, both need to be 12 the width needs to be 12 okay. the width needs to be 12 on this PMOS as well both NMOSes also tend to ha have a width of 12 for the NAND gate and why this is the case we'll talk about in class Let's set all the width of all four transistors to 12. Change the names of the inputs and the outputs. We call that A. We call the second input A B. And my output a Y. Okay, so I have my inputs A B, output Y. Uh, I have my B D D. Oops. I have my VDD connection, my ground connection, uh, PMOS, both sides 12, NMOS is in series, both sides 12. Okay, So I have my schematic all set. So the next step is to do simulation. Click on, click on the simulation button. First thing we need to do is set up the model library. So in, go, click on, click on li libtemp-inc, include files browse up here type in dollar adk under technology ic models ami 05.mod say ok ok to this set up the library now we need to set up the forces so let's start out by defining the vdd as being 5 volts highlight that click on forces manager this brings up a setup simulation window so let's set up the forces first Call VDD selected. Click on independent source DC. We're going to set up VDD of five, oh, five volts. Okay. Click on the add button. Let's go back. Let's go back here. Now let's select A. Go back to the setup simulation window. On A, we're going to set up a pattern that goes zero one zero one. So let's click on pattern. Change the high value to five. Delay can stay zero, low value to zero, rise time and fall time can stay the same, so can the pattern duration. So the pattern is going to run for 100 nanoseconds. Okay. Repeat the pattern, go change the binary, and make sure to add in zero one. Okay, so add a one. Let's go back, highlight B, let's 
go back set up pattern again leave everything the same as a except the pattern duration to be two okay so here we have a and b set up so now so we have all the forces set up okay now let's set up so that we can actually view the waveforms for a b and y so click on a while holding the control key on your keypad highlight b and highlight the wi wire for a y now go back to setup simulation click on edit waveforms all three should be highlighted under analysis scroll to transition under task plot and everything is all set click on the plus so we've set up our waveforms so so far we have the waveform inputs set up we have we set it up so that we can view the waveform next thing let's go and set up the simulation analysis click on analysis setup click on transient expand this go to transient setup start time can stay at zero end time to 400 apply analysis transient okay so we're all set so we've set up a transient analysis set up the waveforms and made sure that our output can be viewed now let's run Eldo. Okay. It says simulation completed successfully. Okay, so now let's view the waveforms. Go to view waves. Click on new window. Otherwise, you might sometimes get an error. And wait for the waveform to show up. Okay. Let's expand this. Here we have A which goes 0, 1, 0, 1, B which goes 0 and 1. Together they simulate the case of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. And here's the output of Y of the NAND gate. The NAND gate is high when either A is 0 or if B is 0. But when both of them are 1, it goes low. So this proves that the NAND gate we created is functionally correct. So this is how you create uh, a two input NAND gate and simulate it. So when you're done, click on end simulation. You come back to your original window and you can print uh, the schematic and the waveforms from EasyWave.